today is the day. So, the last video we made was the Civic video and a lot of people still ask about that. <laughs> that Civic is long gone, to those that didn't know. This is Michael's new car, so we actually went and picked this up probably like a year ago now, right? Yeah, it's been a while, so he's been rocking it on the stocks, just, you know, slammed on some stockies, but my man is finally joining the real wheel gang, huh? Yeah. Is this your first set of real wheels? Uh, if you don't count the Cosmos. No, 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 we're not counting those, we're not, we're not counting those, but my man finally got some real wheels, so props to you, man. So the plan for this video is for both of us to put on our new wheels, so... My man got some new wheels. I also got some new wheels for uh, the S2000. Seems like the only time the S2000 comes out of the garage is when we get some new wheels. So I'm super excited though. These were my dream wheels. I've wanted these wheels since I was like 13. Um, I remember just seeing these at car meets and dreaming about, I, I guess everyone, everyone's yeah. wanted these yeah, wheels like at some point. Everybody's, it's everybody's dream wheel. Right, sure. right. It's a super popular wheel. It's not like very rare or anything, but I've always wanted it on an S2000. So I happened to find this set locally and I picked them up like, it's probably been like four or five months now. And right down the street. From my yeah, house. literally like a few minutes from my house. I'm hoping they fit the S2000. Uh, they're currently on the 350Z. I just test fit them on there. I guess I'll insert some clips from when I went and picked these wheels up. Um, I got them from a super cool guy. So we found a hidden gem over here. My boy Michael lives right up the hill right there. And all this time, this guy's been hiding this super clean Type X. We'll just call it a Type X, right? It is a Type X S13, but this thing is so Stupid clean. Oh my gosh. Check out this engine bay. Did you shave it or? Yeah. Yes. yeah, me and my cousin, we welded it and got it all shaved and done. And yeah. Looks Put really good. It yeah, yeah. So I don't know, the lighting isn't too great, but the engine bay looks really clean. SR20, Yeah. all OEM, right? You found yeah. like all the OEM bits, yeah. OEM type X bumper, lip, side skirts, quarter glass, right? Let's show that real quick. 180SX quarter glass. And of course the Ganadors. And then we see that cage in there. 180SX interior. The cage looks really good. I like the blue and red combo. Yeah, like it yeah, kind of like, pop. yeah, for sure. D-Max, real D-Max hood. Yeah, I forgot to point that out. That looks really good. And also that picture on the wall just oh. <laughs> pops. <laughs> Thank you for the wheels. Yeah, no Appreciate problem. you selling Enjoy them to it. me. You're gonna love them. I will. I already do, and they're not even on a car yet. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to Angel for selling me my dream wheels with, I would say, perfect specs. I just need to do a little bit of work, but yeah, I'm stoked. Thank you once again. <laughs> I wasn't in the market for new wheels, but honestly, I'm super glad I picked these up. I'm just hoping they fit the S2000. They fit the 350Z perfectly, and the tires that they came with are a little too thick for the S2000. So what we're gonna do is actually head to the shop right now. I gotta swap some of the tires on my new wheels, and then we're also gonna put the new wheels on Michael's car. So. A whole bunch of new wheels in this video. I would say my collection is officially complete after acquiring these wheels, but honestly, it just, it doesn't stop there. Like I just, I just want something else. Like I want the next set of wheels, kind of a bad habit, but um, as of now, I think I'm capping my collection. I guess the tire shop closes in like the next hour, so we gotta hurry up, but I guess we could show you guys the new wheels now. These have been my dream wheels for the longest time. Workmeister is obviously super popular. Uh, these are the S1 three-piece. This is my first set of three-piece wheels. Uh, the specs on them are 18 by nine plus four in the front and then 18 by 10 plus five. So they don't sound too aggressive, but the lower offset is what really got me with uh, the specs. So the rear have five inch lips, the front are four inch lips. Honestly, not sure if they're gonna fit on the S2000. Uh, I'm currently running 18 by 10 and a half plus 15. So I did a little bit of research online and they should fit pretty similar. So I actually test fit them on the 350Z as well. So we're gonna go a little bit in the past tense from earlier today. So before we take them off of the Z, this is what it looks like on here right now. Um, these are the tires that came with the wheels. So they're 235 40s in the rear, a little too thick for the S2000 and then in the front, we're running 215.35, so it's perfect for the S2000, and it looks a little funny on the Z, because it needs a little more meat in the front, but honestly, I'm super stoked on how this looks. I'm pretty sad 
that this setup only lasted a day, but I did originally buy these wheels to run them on the S2000, so it is what it is. Um, maybe we'll be able to throw the TEs on the Z and see how that looks. Now let's take the rear wheels off and head to the tire shop. just pulled up it's empty perfect we got like 20 minutes left so this should be pretty quick all right so we're not sure if we're gonna be able to get the 215 on the 10 saying he's gonna attempt it but I'm hoping it's gonna work out try it yeah we'll give it a shot but yeah this this is the place to come when you got nice wheels because look at this he's like switching this up just to make it all clean you know no damage to the wheels that's why I love coming here this is the van right here <laughs> I hope I scratch the wheel on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, bro. He's, he's putting a rag on there just to keep the lip clean. Respect, bro. <laughs> So the problem we're having, we're, we're expecting is the barrel. Uh, the way these work barrels are, it's pretty hard to stretch like super small tires on there, but let's look at the shot. If anything, I'm taking your tires. No. Why? <laughs> because I need to get my wheels on. Oh, let's go, let's go. It got on? Damn. So I'm gonna have to ride around like that, but. Hi. It actually works. Hey, are th are those weights for uh, work weights? Oh yeah. All right, cool. They work. <laughs> Your boy is moving backwards. I'm supposed to be moving on from stretch, and I'm just going to stretch. We got one more, one down, one to go. This light sketch. It's not yeah. super. Sketch. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. If anyone's watching, don't come here if you got work wheels with this type of stretch. He said he only did it for me. He usually wouldn't attempt it because it doesn't work. But if you got regular tires, come through. If you got some, some stupid stuff like this, don't come through, right? All right, my bad, my bad. I appreciate you though. All right, so I guess I guess it's time to reveal my boy's wheels. We forgot to show you guys. All right, what we got, what we got? Ready, ready? Let's see him, let's see him. Hey! Oh, yo, yo, chill, chill. Brand new, bro. Still wrapped up. That's clean. So my boy went with T7Rs. These are the wheels I originally wanted for my S14. Um, so I wanted these gunmetal ones, but I ended up going with bronze. So now my boy's got the gunmetal. I got the bronze, and we can just trade whenever, right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, straight in the sun, bro. So fresh. I'm jealous, bro. I want these. All right, well, we are back from the tire shop and we're gonna start with Michael's car because I'm super excited for him. I can't wait any longer for him to take these ugly stock wheels off, so. We're gonna start with Michael's car, but yeah, shout out to Memos. If you guys are from the Seattle, Tacoma area, definitely go to them if you want them to take care of your wheels. Um, they definitely take their time and make sure it's done right and they don't rush it. Yeah, these wheels, T7Rs, the paint on this is really easy to chip. So if you took it to a normal tire shop, they would most likely chip it up, but these look super clean, no chips, no nicks, nothing like that. So shout out to Junior for taking care of us. They don't typically like dealing with stretched tires, but I guess for us they make an exception so let's throw these on michael's car we got some spacers for the front as well uh, we've test fit mine before and we had to use a spacer just for it to look a little more flush so my boy came prepared this time he got some spacers here you go throw them on boy let's get it this is the moment we've been waiting for for uh, a year and a half dude that's, oh, that's perfect. perfect oh yeah buddy dude that's like 
Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. About time, boy. Since we've done yeah, that yeah, Civic yeah, video, yeah, and yeah. I said my boy's gonna get real wheel someday, well, <laughs> here's that day. Let's go. I'm stoked for you. <laughs> yeah, enough talking. It's getting dark. Let's get the S1000 out of the driveway and hope that at least the rear wheels fit. I know the fronts will fit, but the rears are uh, pretty low offset, so I'm a little worried, but I think it'll be fine. I just don't want to damage these wheels. These are the wheels I probably care about the most, so I don't want to nick my my lips or anything like that. Yeah, let's just throw them on. Fit. That's perfect, dude. Oh, no. I think my lip might catch. Oh, your fender, bro. What? Oh, I thought it was bending. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <it's fine>. bro <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I can't believe this. All right, the front needs a little bit of work. I think the front might need like a spacer or something. But the rear is just, ooh. Oh, I gotta get off the wood. I gotta get off the wood. It's not accurate right now. We good. But the thing I'm worried about is my lip hitting my quarter panel. I'm gonna be so sad if I ever have to change these lips. Dude, doesn't that look wild? It's clean. Like, just look at it, bro. Just look at it. Holy crap. I cannot believe that's my car, bro. All right, so we're actually gonna call it a day here. Unfortunately, I do need to add a little bit of camber. I do not wanna mess these lips up and just driving up on some wood, it's already tucked in there. It's actually touching the lip. Dang, look at that. That's crazy. Anyways, I do not wanna drive it like this, as good as it looks. My camber arms are actually pretty maxed out, so I'm gonna have to take them off completely and kinda grind something down just to add like a degree of camber. It looks super good. This is what it looks like for now, but we're gonna call it a day and we'll continue another day, add a little bit of camber, and then we'll go and get some sick rollers. Yeah. I'm super excited for my boy and his car as well. It's gonna be a good day. All right, we'll continue then. days now and what I've been doing today is just tweaking the fitment on the S2000 so as you guys already saw I removed this locking nut from the camber arm in the rear and honestly that added a little more camber than what I was hoping for originally I just wanted to add a tad but with this type of fitment we're gonna play it safe because the quarter panels totally clear the lips um, but at the same time adding more camber in the rear kind of messed up the front because the way I like to run my fitment is I like to have a little more camber in the front the car's jacked up right now so this isn't exactly how it's gonna look but in the front with no spacers it's actually pretty sunk and honestly I hate this look so what I did on this side was I threw on my one inch spacers and I love how that looks it's super aggressive but at the same time I think I still have more camber in the rear so the plan right now is to add just a tiny bit of camber in the front. I kind of want to match it to the rear, if not have a little more in the front. Um, but yeah, if I add a little bit of camber, we'll clear this and then I won't destroy my fenders. Some of you might be cringing right now. I am adding more camber to my S2000, but honestly, this is my Stancy car, so I don't really care. I have other cars that have track style fitment and maybe someday this will have track fitment but for now this is my stance car this is my dream look i guess let's add a little bit of camera in the front maybe pull some camera out in the rear and see how it turns out <laughs> All 
so this is pretty much what the final look is gonna look like for now. What I ended up doing in the front was running that one inch spacer, and then I ended up raising the front over half an inch, and then the rear was about half an inch. Um, I also had to cut the headlight bracket in the front over here just for the tire to clear when I turn, so that's kind of the downside of running these fat tires. They are 215.35s on a nine, I usually run 215.35s on a nine and a half, so there's a little more stretch like on this wheel, but I'm thinking eventually I wanna run a smaller tire in the front, that way I could lower the car back down. But for now, this will do. I'm still happy with how it looks. I just don't know if this is gonna be the final form, but yeah, what we're gonna do right now is go get some rollers. We got a special guest in the house today. What's <laughs> up, boy? Sick, bro. <laughs> so this is the guy that's gonna do some buttery rollers for me right now. What we gotta do right now is actually pull this thing out of the driveway. Uh, I haven't took it out of the driveway yet, so this is gonna be the first test to see if the, the fenders survive. I raised the car, so it should be fine. I guess let's send it. I'm kind of nervous, bro. So they see your spring rates? Oh, let's see. Show them, show them. It's yeah, yeah we're, we're, it's that's pretty cool. stiff. I mean, the only thing I'm worried about is when I'm like going out of uneven driveways and like the wheel turns, but I guess let's send it out of the driveway and hope these fenders survive. All right, so we made it out of the driveway. Fenders are fine. The only thing was, I think my headlight bracket was rubbing a little bit. So hopefully these headlights are still flush by the end of this trip. Marcus is out here doing a whole video for this thing when we were supposed to just go do rollers. This is not the official Skur Weekly video. This was supposed to be just him helping me with some rollers, but my man is out here, you know, putting in work. As you should. As you should. <laughs> this so guy good. just can't stop with the cinematic bangers. But yeah, I'm excited to see how these rollers turn out. Man, we got a whole team out here just to get some rollers. We got the wifey helping out. She's gonna be driving the runner. Whole squad out here just for some rollers. I literally took the day off from work just to go shoot these rollers. So hope you guys appreciate it. Shout out to the man for helping me out big time too. Can you clear the wolf cry? I take off like airlines. You stay on the sideline. Tell me what you waiting on. done boys so just wrapped up rollers shout out to the man over here but yeah the only issue we had was this front wheel was rubbing my bumper so it actually kind of cleared it up so that's pretty much what the fitment's gonna look like for now maybe i'll go with a smaller tire a little later and then we can uh drop the car another half inch and then we'll do a proper screw weekly video maybe yeah we gotta, we gotta do all three cars maybe we'll do that in the future we'll do a video with all three cars but for now this is what s2000 is gonna look like i'm happy with how it looks but i feel like there's room for improvement a 215 and then just keep this yeah way. he wants to go lower no no so it's a 215 on there right now oh, so yeah 205. so we'll put a 205 on there and then i'll be able to drop the car another like half inch and i think it'll be solid because right now the front is a little a little too high for my liking i don't know i really want to scare a weekly video though like you got it yeah like the rollers are fire but we're gonna do a, a full-on video probably with this car maybe all the cars i don't know but look out for that in the future. So my boy Michael unfortunately couldn't make it out today and we didn't get any rollers of his sport cross, but it's all good. We'll grab some rollers of his car in the future. But with all that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new setup. Should I go down a tire size in the front or should I keep it as is? Let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, shout out to everyone that helped with this video. Shout out to that boy Marcus for helping me with the rollers. Thanks to everyone for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey.